Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Tack with Your American Passion. I have some shelves to put together. Um, They're called muscle racks. I received them off of Amazon and I'm going to give you an idea of what they look like. I've already put three together. Um, the actual the wood part themselves is particle board and I don't too much like those but uh, I'm going to show you what they look like and we can go from there. Pretty self-explanatory. I kind of changed up a little bit just to kind of give it a little bit more room in certain areas. But uh, I have three and I have one shelf left. Um, I was actually able I was actually able to get two shelves for 179. Um, so I'm going to put the link, the Amazon link in the description box so that way you can know what's going on. Uh, I purchased these about a year ago, so I don't know if it's actually still the same price, but um, they're pretty sturdy, very simple to put together, very flimsy to put together until you get them together, and then they're pretty sturdy. I wouldn't put an engine or something on it, but anything under 50 pounds should be okay. So once again, this is what it looks like in the box. And this is where it is. It's, of course, it has a lot of American made numbers, Millington, Tennessee. Then I also have Biloxi, Mississippi, but as I was putting it together, I realized it's actually Chinese made. So, um, oh, I'm sorry, Vietnam. So, but the name of the product is Muscle Rack. And once again, I'm gonna put the uh, link from Amazon in the description box and I'll be able to give you a better outlook on it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna time lapse the um, assembly installation. It took me about 20 minutes, um, give or take, depending upon how quick you can do it. But I'm going to throw it in the um, time lapse mode and I'll come back. Stand by.
Okay, I'm back. It takes about 20 minutes to get this thing done. So I'm gonna time, I time lapsed it, so I broke it down to about nine minutes. Very simple to put together. And it's actually pretty sturdy. So, um, I recommend bolting it to the wall to give it a little bit more sturdiness. But this is how it pretty much turns out. So, I mean, it's good enough for automotive parts that are under 25 pounds and that are not going to punch holes in them. That pegboard is, once again, it's garbage. So, just letting you see what the ending product, the end product looks like. So, once again, this is tech. Um, it's a muscle rack from Amazon. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the link on the bottom so that way you can review it and see if it's something that you can use. Once again, I bought these about a year ago and my building has finally come to completion where I can start doing things on the inside. So, um, and looking at everything else that's left, let me show you what I got. Got a Harbor Freight dust collector. I have a 40 pound <clears throat> sandblasting cabinet. <laughs> um, I have a couple more of the actual body panel uh, carts or workhorses, work stands. Um, and then of course I purchased these about two weeks ago. They're saying they're 7,000 pounds, but if you see how heavy these things are, oh my goodness. The only thing that I didn't like is I had to buy a base. If you can see, the pulleys stick out about an inch. So I'm gonna have to build a base about an inch and a half to go around and go across to the next one. And I'm gonna have a diamond plate to cover up the cables. These are three phase, but as my dad was saying, it's already got the inverter already on them. You pull out the center one, you don't need the red, and you just use the, the white, the black, and the ground. So, uh, he's supposed to be coming by in the next week or two to take a look at it. And if that's so, then I have two that I purchased. And these are called Benwells. And when I mean they're heavy duty, they are heavy duty. Once again, this is TAC, American, <clears throat> your American passion. Please like, subscribe, give me some feedback, thumbs up something. <laughs> um, I actually, like I said, I have a couple other things to do, but it's going to be that process. So um, I'm really looking forward to getting into my, my love. And my love is Let me see if I can do this without it blowing. Replicas. A lot of people call them Reventons. A lot of people call them Inventons. That's one right there. F-355. I still have... I still have a uh, Testarossa 512. A Countach body. Well, a Countach that's already built. Um, 
and I have about five Diablos ranging from the 6.0s to the uh, roasters to the um, the coops. Uh, some have the Jota uh, deck lids on them. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get into that a little bit deeper once I actually get all of this stuff in the garage set up. So if you, you're into that type of world, you're going to be pretty impressed to see exactly what I'm going to come out with. So um, like I said, this is Tech with Your American Passion. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you feel like you, you um, need to do. Uh, and we'll go from there. Maybe to help me out. I'm still fr uh, freshly new. Um, as the, I moved down here to the Gulf Coast from Washington, D.C. And uh, a lot of people always say, oh, you just as green as a blade of grass. So I guess that's what it is. But anyway, I'm going to be signing off. And always remember, God bless you. Fight COVID. Peace.